everyone, the name is Eric Dor, and I want to make a video talking about how to deal with hate and how to deal with criticism and judgment from other people online or from friends or from co-workers or from classmates at school. I want to share my world with all of you. I want to share my concerns, my passions, my confidence, my love, my enthusiasm, my insecurities and my weaknesses because I want you to see the real me. I don't want to see the caricature of me. I know a natural part of sharing of yourself and sharing your vulnerability with other people is attracting haters. Believe the definition of a hater is someone that shares your trauma, shares your insecurity, but has a strong resolve not to face, not to deal with the problem you're bringing up in them. We all worry, we all feel weak at times, it happens. It's a part of learning and growing and I think to, for people to be able to relate to you, you have to show them where you struggle. Otherwise, you come off as a finished product and not as a human. What is more boring than being perfect? What is more boring than being done? As a human, are you ever done? Do you ever stop growing, learning, and changing? Should you ever stop? An important part of healing and of healing other people and of healing yourself is to promote a kind, loving, and supportive atmosphere. An atmosphere where people dare to speak honestly and authentically about themselves, where people dare to show themselves, and even the parts that they fear being judged. So if there's anything that I rate my success on YouTube by, it is being able to bring other people to share of themselves with me, with their family, with their friends, on YouTube, through personal messages, or anywhere you want. It is not my place to bear judgment on other people. It is my job to understand and to promote understanding. So what can you do in the face of hate and judgment from other people? Well, I think an important part of it is focus on helping those who face judgment from others. Focus on helping your friends when you see them facing judgment. Focus on the people being attacked. So now to all of you who are thinking of expressing something new, of starting up a new project, of going on a new journey, to all of you who are inhibited by the fear of judgment from others, I've found it's the most important step if you want to succeed in this journey. What the first step to anyone who is starting up a new project is, it is Make friends, make friends, make allies, make mentors, make connections to people that will support you in your goal and that will stand with you no matter what path you choose for yourself. One, if you like me want to start up a community on YouTube online that promotes, that encourages using Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, the Enneagram and personal life discovery tools then let us start that journey by making connections together. Let's start by talking to each other. Let's start by exchanging friendship information on social media. Let's start by talking with each other on Discord, on Facebook or on YouTube. If you, like me, want to explore the next step after my Spriggs type indicator, the next step deeper than Carl Jung, then let's work together. I invite, I encourage all of you to share with me your questions, your thoughts, your answers, your doubts, and what you think is next for psychology up to haters by letting nothing stop you on your journey, by not letting nothing stop you on your goal, to searching for answers, to finding your truth, to exploring 
your curiosity. As a part of that, let me end up this video with five questions, five quests, five challenges that I hope you can explore. You can feel free to choose any of these five or all of them if you wish. Starting with question one, what are some of the struggles for sensors? What are the similarities between the INTPs and INTJs? Because people often focus on the differences. How does storytelling help a feeling type? What does it mean for a thinker to be more vulnerable? And in which ways are INFJs actually quite normal and ordinary compared to other personality types? I chose these questions because I wanted to show a little about what Neil Jungian typology is about. It's about exploring the nuances and the dimensions that we often tend to forget because we are so focused on the limits and the constraints all the typology has set up for us. Okay, let me give you five more questions. First, how do people within your personality type differ from each others? What are the differences you've observed? Seven. Are there any personality traits unrelated to your current Myers-Briggs personality type? For example, does sexuality and religiousness have anything to do with type? Number eight. What is the difference between an ENFP or any type you wish in a sidekick or employee position compared to an ENFP in a mentor, parent or boss position? Number nine. How does your personality type reach flow? And finally, number 10. What is your journey all about? What is it for you? What is it you're trying to achieve with it? Where are you headed? What do you know so far about your journey? And what do you know so far about what is most important to you? Is it about the bravery? Is it about being brave? Is it about power? Is it about becoming successful? Is it about love and kindness, authenticity, or is it about peace and thrill and just enjoying what life has to offer? I'm not really worried about hate or lash outs against me because I have the most amazing friends, the most amazing supporters, the most amazing viewers. I have a, a support system and I have friends and family who listen to me. And that makes me a lot stronger and a lot more brave. And I know that the hero's journey, as you might call it, is all about rising up against negative emotions. It's about being brave when you're afraid. It's about expressing yourself when you feel shame. It's about standing up against adversity when you feel anxious. It's about standing up for security and order when you feel chaos. When I came into YouTube, it was all about my personal expression and it was all about my personal desires and wishes. But the more I came into it, the more it became about the people I spoke to and the more important it became to speak to the people who I knew cared about me and to be there for them like they are there for me. Care for people is just as important for me as it is to be original, to create my own content, to share my own theories, and to express my own creativity. I never ask people what videos I should make, because usually I have a pretty strong opinion myself, and I always want to follow my passion and my inspiration. I think that's how I can do something for other people, by honoring myself and my own path, and by speaking to other people from my own voice and from my own perspective. I learned about how important it is to be authentic in giving to other people and in honoring yourself while showing kindness to others. That no matter what you choose to do, you are able to do the same. That's all for today and for the coming week, 
I will provide a lot more material on New Jungian typology, on body language and psychology, on subtypes, on archetypes and their connections to your Myers-Briggs personality type. I'm very close to finishing my book, my final draft, and when that happens, I think that I can begin taking a lot more steps, putting myself out there and putting my content out there for anyone to study and criticize and disagree with as they wish. Hope to see you all in tomorrow's video.